How do you find closure when you have been discarded or have left a toxic relationship with what was possibly a narcissistic person? If closure is something that you needed, how did you personally go about finding it and helping yourself heal from these toxic relationships? My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you transform your life after being with toxic narcissistic people. Closure is something I hear a lot when I am talking to people in coaching. People will come to me with this very unsettled feeling of unresolve, of not being able to figure out what happened in the relationship, of not knowing whether or not they gave it enough of a chance, if not knowing whether or not that person really was a narcissist. Okay, there's all kinds of things people hang on to. What was it or is it for you? Let me know in the comments. What was it or is it for you? That's a question to ask yourself because if you can figure out what it is for you that blocks you from feeling the ending of a relationship being an ending and what you're holding on to, then you can begin to let go of the toxic relationship. Okay, if you know that you can't decide whether that person is a narcissist and you're obsessing on that one thing, on that one question, and that's what's holding you to wanting to talk to them, wanting to go back to them, listening to the Hoovers that they attempt with you, then that one thing is a place that you might need to work on in yourself to find this closure, okay? You're not gonna get traditional closure from a toxic person, no matter what the relationship was that you had with them. Narcissistic parents, narcissistic partners, narcissistic spouses, siblings, bosses, none of them are going to give you the closure that an ending of a relationship with a healthy person would give you. When you're in a relationship with a personality disordered person and they have been incredibly toxic, the way in which they're toxic is what has kept you in the relationship. Hear me out. If they are a person who gaslights, and they know you are a person who loves logic, who loves reason, who wants things to make sense, then they're gonna spend the entire relationship confusing you, taking your logic and devaluing it, making you not trust yourself, creating situations where you are confused, dysregulated, where you get reactionary, maybe even rageful at them. And so therefore you are thrown off your natural way of being, all right? And your way that makes you feel as a person, comfortable, secure, like you can trust yourself. They've spent the relationship doing that. If you're a, real, a person who is, if you're a person who is very emotional and relates from being in your emotions, a narcissistic or toxic person will spend the relationship devaluing, criticizing, berating, gaslighting and projecting all over your emotional life. Do you see what I'm saying here? A narcissistic person and toxic people deal with the person that they're with individually. So each person that they're with, they're going to be going after a specific thing. They're going to go after the strength of that person the personality of that person. They're attacking your personality because they don't have a real one themselves, okay? And so this creates a feeling in you that you need to defend that part of yourself or that you, basically you're trapped like in a whirlpool being sucked under by this narcissistic person continually pulling at the very thing that makes you who you are. Of course you don't feel closure that's not gonna be fixed. That toxic person will not come back and say, oh my gosh, you know what I did? I totally gaslit you and made you doubt your logic. I told you all the time how crazy you are. Of course, that was my fault for destroying you as a tender, emotional, loving person who has a lot of feelings. They're not gonna say that, okay? They're not gonna give you the closure that you need by fixing the way that they interact with you. They're gonna keep doing it. And so you have to see for yourself, what is it in you personally? Everyone is unique and different in this. What is it in you personally that they were able to hook, that they were able to get under your skin with? Does that make sense? Most likely, that's where you will find closure in the unraveling of that in the reclaiming of that part of yourself and in the taking care of yourself in the process. If you need help with that, please reach out. Coaching and group coaching is available. Group coaching is there as a low cost way to get you help 
okay? In a group of people who have been through it, with me coaching you, we coach, I go one-on-one -on -one with each person for about 10 minutes each time. And so you get a chance to have the coaching in a small group setting, listen to other people talk about their stories. It's incredibly beneficial for the people who have been through it. So check it out if you need it, okay? And also there is peer support in the main description as well. You guys keep watching these videos, go back and check out some of the other videos on self-care, on closure, or on anything that you might need personally. Got lots of topics here. I'll talk to you guys over there. Bye-bye.